let's create a unit with the highest ability damage in anime champion simulator make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks yo what up f minus gang gang welcome back to anime champion simulator where we are only maybe a couple days off of the Christmas update. And I know you guys are really excited for yeah, it. Boy. And for this video, what we're going to do is I want to try to create the units with the highest possible burst damage. Highest possible ability damage in the game. If you guys check your units out and you hit the inspect button at the bottom, you can see a bunch of stuff. DPS breakdown. You got hit damage, attack speed hit dps you got ability damage crit multiplier boss dps the one that i really want to focus on is the ability damage this right here i want to see if we can get the highest of the possible highest for this video and i have just the unit that's prepared already for it and that's gonna be makima you guys know my makima here she's pretty op level 150 her talent i mean look at the ability damage 143 149 149 damage 141 i mean she's kind of already maxed out plus she's max level she's triple ascended she might not be godly but look at her ability damage right now 19 trillion right now you see this we're getting 200 from ancient magus 900 from crimson demon 200 from the talents 300% from another Ancient Magus, which is amazing. And if I compare it right now, I can actually see the skins right here that give us the amounts. I mean, ability damage 300%. This one is hmm, 200%. Nice. I think I have one here that gives us more. Yeah, Ancient Magus Wings of Core. This is a better skin. We're going to equip that to Makima. Like I said, I want to create the highest possible base damage or ability burst damage units that I possibly can. Now Makima is 2.91. If I inspect her again, her ability is 20 trillion. Now you'll notice that Titan's minus 55%. So maybe I'll take out Titan, put Archmage. Yeah, maybe that's a little yeah, bit better. Right. We get two of the most explosive uh, quirks in the entire game. So if I go to the quirks area, we select our Makima. We keep Crimson Demon. Great for the burst damage. Great for the ability damage. However, Titan isn't. Titan has great base damage, but we're going for ability damage. We're just going to switch it to Archmage for the video. And I want to see, you know, combining two Magus skins that are Cosmics with Crimson Demon, Archmage, how much damage she can do when she gets her ability off. All right, we got a little lucky with that. We already pulled Archmage and Crimson Demon, both of these together. Hopefully, I did not make a mistake because getting Titan is difficult. It could take 50,000, 100,000 medals really, really hard. However, Archmage, Crimson Demon, I'm really hoping that ability damage is more than like 20 trillion. If I look for my unit right now, sorted by damage. Oh my gosh, she got weak. She got really weak. 2.0. Oh wait, maybe it's not sorted by damage. Let me unequip everything. You know, trying to sort it by damage. Makima should be up there, but she's down here. 2.05 trillion. So she lost a decent amount of damage. Her ability damage is way higher now, though. Look at that. 21 trillion. It only went up 1 trillion. She actually got weaker, but her ability damage is the highest now. Now, this is 222% from Talents, 300% from Ancient Magus, 900% from Crimson Demon, 400% from AR Archmage, 300% from Ancient Magus. 21 trillion that means when her ability gets off i do 21 trillion or what does it mean i know ability dps is 1.48 trillion honestly not that really good but this is like the highest i guess like it's not the best combination definitely not the best combination but this is like the most explosive the most like burst damage that you could possibly make um for like a single like frame <laughs> for a single second in anime champions i'm gonna go ahead and turn on auto click no we don't need auto clear i just want to see like her damage i want to see like if she can like take some stuff out and then basically i'll uh let her attack the uh, dummy here and then whenever she gets her ability off i'll just go ahead and tap the screen her ability and then let's see like what she peaks at is it gonna be 21 trillion or is it gonna be higher hmm, i don't know it said 21 21 trillion average right what happens if I land a critical hit, y'all? You can still land critical hits. 
Is that 21 gonna change into like, what, critical multiplier 4x? It's like 100 trillion damage. Could be a lot, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, use our ability. Let's see what we got right now. Uh, we are still trying to attack the enemy. There we go. 3 trillion, 5 trillion. Okay, 6.67. Keep going. 8 trillion. Oh, damn. 10 trillion? Damn. 11 trillion? Ooh, 12 trillion. 12 trillion damage. That's pretty impressive, guys, for just one unit. 12 trillion damage for the ultimate burst. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you guys how cool it is um, and also the effects. And then maybe I'll go in like a raid mode, try to kill a boss with her um, just solo. She attacks pretty slow, but her ability, I mean, when it charges up and she gets it off, 12 trillion is a lot. I can try to compare it with maybe another unit and we'll see what's up. But um, let's go ahead and use her ability again. Let's see how high we get here. Come on, big money. Yeah, Let's see Makima. Uh, I don't know what she's doing. Her little hand thing. Okay, so we got like 7 trillion, 8 trillion. She's doing her little hand thing again. 10 trillion. One more. Ooh, 12 trillion. 13 trillion. So we got about 13 trillion at peak. That's not bad. We did get weaker, but I mean, Archmage, if you think about it, you stack the most ability damage. Then you get Crimson Demon. Stack uh, the most ability damage from Crimson Demon. I mean, it could be worth something. Let's go to Nightmare on Green Planet, though, and then let's go test it out on, like, some of the enemies here. All right, here we are. Uh, first one is going to be Yellow Force. So we're going to start attacking them, and then let's just go ahead and use that ability right there. Okay, go ahead and give it to them real good. Ooh, look at that. Damn. Oh, my Lord. Keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind. When I was attacking the dummy, that was damage per second. If we're going to do, like, total damage... Maybe Makima's pretty OP. What is that? What? What? <laughs> no way! Bruh. No way that dude just healed. Oh my god, that dude had full HP. That is crazy. But, I don't know, the glitches in the game. Like I was saying, damage per second, maybe not that good, but total damage over all her abilities in that 5 second range. Maybe it's going to equal to like 1Q. 0.5Q or something like that. I could test it on one of the stronger enemies in just a little bit. But I mean, a really good example, Yellow Force right here, right? Look at that. 56 trillion. If I test this out right now, just one for one, 1v1, Makima versus Yellow Force in the span of 10 seconds. Who's like, who, like, can we kill this guy in 10 seconds? Let's see. When his HP drops to zero. Oh my God, he's already almost dead. There it is. He just died. Let's say five seconds. Five seconds for Makima to kill that enemy, right? Let's try this out then. Let's take a normal unit. How about we say somebody who's comparable? Maybe my Levi. Levi's pretty solid right here. 1.57. Levi, let's go start attacking this yellow force here. And let's see which one's faster. My Makima or my Levi. Now I'm going to do the same test. But I'm going to wait until Levi has full ability charge as well. Levi's using... He's using like gods. Using gods right there. So we'll see which one's stronger. I'm not going to kill this one. I'm going to use his ability on probably this guy over here. So go ahead and start using ability right now. Let's see if he kills it in five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. Damn. Look at that. Or actually, wait, hold up. Red Force has more HP. 282 trillion. So maybe let me do this. Let me equip my strongest team. And we're going to look for another yellow force enemy or something like that. And then we're going to take it out using just Levi. Because that enemy was a little cheap. I mean, that dude had like five times more HP. Lord. But I'm sure we can, you know, put in some work. All right, there we go. We killed all the enemies in the front. Now we're going to look for like a yellow force unit. Turn off auto clicker. Turn off auto attack. This yellow force right here. We're going to wait until Levi charges his ability up. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Can he like one shot the enemies like Makima? Can he kill it in five seconds? Is, you know, having double Magnus good at all? So here it is. We're going to start attacking the enemy. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Let's see his ability. Oh, not bad. Not bad. However, it's been about 10 seconds. So Levi does take about two times as long to kill the enemy than Makima. However, Levi over here, look at his boss DPS, 2.33 trillion. If we go back to the Makima, Makima is way weaker than 2.2, 2.33 trillion, 2.06. Okay, maybe not that far off, but Makima does have like the highest ability damage, highest ability damage for sure. 
in the entire game right now. Archmage and Crimson Demon. So this is actually pretty good. Maybe we can try using her on the yeah, boss. Boy. So let's go do it real quick. All right, here we go. It's boss time. Makima versus the boss solo. Let's see if she can destroy the boss in maybe like one hit. We're going to go ahead and turn off auto clicker. We just want to do the ability and stuff. And we're going to send her out into battle. I'll dodge if I have to. You can see the boss's HP at the top of the screen. He has like 6.58Q. It's, it's a lot of HP. However, like I said, maybe Makima can pop off once I click her ability. Maybe she's going to, you know, push her, push this dude down a lot. So take a look at the HP bar at the very top. Remember, damage per second, maybe not that good, but total damage over these 10 seconds, maybe it's really, really high. Or maybe it's not. Maybe she's just complete garbage and trash. Um, so far, it looks like she got her ability off and she did about... Hmm, 6.42Q out of 6.58. Oh man, I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know about this one. Dang, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have switched off the Titan. But I mean, Archmage is still kind of cool to have, just having like the highest ability damage units. Now what I want to test is stack copying units. We're going to take seven stack copying units, all of them. And we're going to, you know, use it hand in hand with our Makima. All of them together, let's see if, you know, they all get their abilities and they copy Makima. Maybe it's going to be a little bit better. Or maybe they have their own ability and stuff. You can already see Crimson Rose here. It's only 1.86 or something. But her ability damage, look at my mouse cursor, 41 trillion. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe Crimson Rose has her own ability damage. We are about to find out in about 3, 2, and one let's go ahead and tap that ability button right now everybody's getting their ability off everybody start attacking look at the very top of the screen you see that hp bar right there oh damn oh damn look at that hp bar damn okay okay that's not bad that's not bad for one ability we took out about maybe 20 percent and it looks like this dude healer so he did something <laughs> 20 percent damage in one ability is pretty solid i won't lie to you guys but that's all we had to do for Makima. You guys let me know what kind of like best units you guys have. Really do appreciate though your guys support. And until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video.